What's up YouTube? This is MW Perry 2009, aka your friendly neighborhood sexy dream pirate. And I'm here. Uh, I got Junk Monkey Jeffers on camera. What's and, up? And uh, we're opening up our last two boxes of Dragon Strike. It is Sunday the 26th, so we've got a whopping six days till KMC Ohio, where we're sure to run into the SBK team. So we got to get our boxes open. And uh, we got to tear into this new stuff and see what kind of decks we can put together. So, this is box four of five. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So far, we've actually had really, really good luck pulling uh, super rares. We have multiple copies of. We don't have multiple copies of the uh, monarchs, but. We've got one like, of each. Yeah, but. Uh, okay. Like Squillis, Truth Seeker, Death Liger. We've got multiple copies of several of the supers. I don't remember what all we have. Yep. Okay, so the box topper in this is Death Lagger Apex Predator. Cool. So that makes our third copy. Definitely going to have some trade fodder whenever we get to Ohio. Truthfully, I like the Apex Predator. I, mean, I do too. If you can get somehow get Cryon out there first and then swing with the Apex, I mean, it's immediate. They lose a six drop and yeah. you're swinging for two. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the left stack so we can test my theory. Pack one. I'm so glad that we had a decent sized set. Okay, first card we have Cyber Grid Bandit, Toxic Fog, Jump Jets, Aqua Rider, Haunted Mech, Kernax the Brutal is the rare. Cool. Manatic, Cyber Cyclones, and Freakish Test Subject. Which, we got a lot of those. Which looks to be really. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Blurple can do with it. I think it's really good. Okay, second pack. It's like, it's always, there's normally a super rare left stack, second, third, or fourth pack in. Reef Scout, Fanged Horror, Red Scale Dracon, Thunder Reaper, Reinforce, Citadel Magistrate is the rare. Cool, cool. Thunder Grub, Dawnflower Quartz, and Aspire Zaylock. That's two. I actually like the Thunder Grub. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna play it, but it's it's definitely better. It's, it's a discard with a big body. It, well, it's it's definitely better than uh, Ancient Grey Worm. Yeah, very true. Okay, third pack in. Sword Horn, Cyber Grid Bandit, Toxic Fog, Weaponized Razor Cat, Jump Jets, Tatsuri and the Relentless is the rare. Bullshit card. <laughs> Lumbering Elderwood, Mesmerize, definitely going to see play, and Sunspout Quartz. Yeah, Mesmerize, or, yeah, Mesmerize is definitely going to see uh, a decent bit of play. It's going to do something. Yeah, it, it's. I would not be surprised to see Water Dark Light running it as a triple. I wouldn't be surprised to see the 50 card Truly, I wouldn't four or five they wouldn't dragons. Do it. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see the, like the high count five four sieve dragons running mm -hmm. it as well. Weaponized Razor Cat, Toolbot, Rain Cloud Kraken, Wrecked Me and Sealed, Europica, Blast Forge Bruiser. I love the card art for that card, it's just not that great. It's a poopy card. We have Gorum the Striker as the rare, Steam Tank Krylon as the very. A Lumbering Elderwood and a Spire Zaylock. So, three packs in. It wasn't a super. It was a very. Which probably means this will not be my super. Which makes me sad. Okay, pack four. <laughs> Toxic Fog. Jump Jets. Aqua Rider. Haunted Mech. Fanged Horror. Gregoria's Fortress is the rare. I, uh, I think this card. Yeah, I think this card may have some possibilities. It's kind I of unorthodox. It black. I can see it. It's kind of unorthodox, but I like it. Cindermoss Quartz, Manatic, and a Wave Lancer. Gregoria's Fortress is kind of expensive for Mono Dark. Eight mana just does not happen. But if you're running control Mono Dark, you just let it sit on the back row, kind of like uh, Black Feather. Yeah. And oh wow, so they killed one of my well, creatures. Well, if you had to kill one of your if you're doing your job playing darkness, their field's probably wiped anyway, so yeah. they can death smoke fine. Okay, jump jets, aqua rider, haunted mech, fanged horror, 
Red Scale Dracon. Homoculon the Blaster is their heir. Cool, cool. Our third copy, True yes. Seeker for Ryan, is the super. Soul Chism and a Freakish Test Subject. We're definitely going to have some trade fodder. Definitely going to have some trade. I swear, if you trade off another for Ryan, you should already trade off the Wild Sky Sword. I wanted to use him. You can still use him. There's only one. We can get another. You don't even run green. I would if the if I could put a deck together with him in. Okay. Reef Scout, Fanged Horror, Red Scale Dracon, Thunder Reaper, Reinforce, Mark of Tritonus is their heir, Lars Virtuous Imager, Lotus Warrior, and a Scaled Impaler. I could definitely see, uh, we de we got some more aggro -y, more rush themed cards in this set. I can definitely see, uh, definitely Water Dark Light taking advantage of Aqua Strider and cards such as that and using their big blockers. Don't know how greed will do. Alright, Reinforce, Dread Husk, Aqua Strider, Queen Sargassio, Containment Field, Salt Dragon is the rare, Drill Storm, Lars Virtuous Imager and a Lizard Skin Puppet. I don't know how to feel about that Assault Dragon. Uh, I don't even know what he does. He, oh, he attacks each turn if able. Well, he's a cheap double breaker, I guess. Alright, we got a Blade Rush Wyvern. Full Metal Lemon. Yeah, Lemon. Lemon's favorite. Saber Mantis. Thunder Reaper. Cyber Grid Bandit, Noble Rumbling Pterosaur is the rare. Like that card, I think it's all right. Star Seed Squadron is the fairy. Spore Siren and a Flame Spinner. I love Spore Siren. I think it's really good. It's a really good way to take advantage of those already spent cards. I love cards that you know do more than just put a big body on the field. Yeah. Or I mean. You know, I'm okay with a small body as long as it's a good effect, i.e. fumes. Alright, anyways, Full Metal Lemon, Saber Mantis, Thunder Reaper, Cyber Grid Bandit, Toxic Fog, Scarvos the Assassin is the rare. Butterfly. Manatic, Wave Lancer, and an Aqua Ranger Commander. I'm so, gl I'm so glad that Aquans actually, you know, got a reason to play them. How now. many Aquans do we have? Just a handful, but uh, like Reef Gladiator. It's um, enough to actually do something. Well, I mean, there is bait. I'm not going to say that it's amazing. You know, Reef Gladiator, you want to keep it Reef Gladiator, and then there's like Aqua Soldier and other junk. Mm, that means Mono Blue might be coming back. All right, we have Smolderhorn, Blade Rush Wyvern, Full Metal Lemon, Saber Mantis. Thunder Reaper, Suffocate is the rare. Really? Azuri the Dawnbreaker is the very that makes three yep. or four of him. Time Rhyme and a Dawnflower Quartz. It's really weird. Like, there's some. I'm pretty certain, like Sasha, we have not seen a single Sasha, no. but we've got three Truth Seeker. We've got three. Death Ligers. It's crazy. Deepwood Druid, Cryptic Worm, Rain Cloud Kraken, Chaotic Sky Terror, Shaman Broccoli. So glad we got another Wild Veggie. Oath Sworn Call is the rare. Time Rhyme, Citadel Steward, and a Lizard Skin Puppet. Alright, moving on to the second half of the box. We're on to stack two. Alright. Shimmerwing. Ramus the Cloaked. Probably gonna see play. Jagalax. Dread Husk. Awful. Containment Field. Gurgle 2.0 is the rare. Kinda disappointed in that card. Soul Chism. Freakish Test Subject. And a Lumbering Elderwood. You would have thought that Wizards wouldn't print Brave Giant a second time, but apparently they did. For no reason. Yeah, Brave Giant didn't see play. Maybe they figured if they made it a tree can instead of a Colossus. What's the difference? He doesn't have an Evo. He doesn't have any support. Exactly. What's going to make him play? Exactly. There's nothing. All right. Shimmerwing, Ramus the Cloaked, Jackalax, Dread Husk, Containment Field, 
Featherfin Stalker is the rare. Chaz and Blade Quartz, Cyber Cyclone, and a Silver Axe. I liked uh, Logan's little say on Silver Axe. What's that? Like he couldn't stand up to his brother Silver Hammer. Silver Fist, yeah, he couldn't Our stand up fist. to Silver Fist. Alright, Jackalax, Skeleton Soldier, Smolderhorn, Blade Wash Ryvern, Full Metal Lemon, Lemon. Baron Burnfingers is the rare. I cannot believe he's a rare. Blade Seer, Flame Spinner, and Aqua Ranger Commander. I could definitely build. I mean, Earth Stomp Giant's a super. You know? Yeah. I mean, sometimes they just print junk and value it higher than what it is. Like Mesmerize, they've, it's an uncommon. They very easily could have made that a rare or possibly even higher, and it would still see play. All right. Red Scale Dracon, Deepwood Druid, Memory Keeper. Shimmer Wing, Tenuous Trove, Kaboom is the rare. Kaboom. Very disappointed in this card. Tatsurian the Relentless is Another the one. super. Lotus Warrior and a Scaled Impaler. Yeah, very disappointed in uh, Relentless. Yes, it's huge. Yeah, Unfortunately it's enough, they're on swing, but nothing. Who's I running mean, 5K and lower? Unless yeah, who's one. who's running 5K now? I mean, really. All you have to do is tap him once if you do a Storm Strike beforehand. Just say, wipe your field. Yeah. Blade Rush Wyvern. Queen Sargassio. What is it? Baliqua the Ascender. Smolderhorn. Cave Gulper. Definitely going to be trying this out in Mono Dark. Citadel Magistrate is the rare. Time Rhyme. Lotus Warrior. And a Spectral Mummy. So we only got one super rare in the left deck. Or in the left deck. Uh, yeah, and the box topper. So we're at three currently. We may see another, but I'm not going to bank. Oh, speak of the devil. Really? Saber Mantis, Thunder Reaper, Cyber Grid Bandit, Toxic Fog, Jump Jets, Crusader Engine is the rare. Third copy of this. Squillis Surge is Third the one. super. Silver Axe and the Lotus Warrior. Now, how do you usually know when it's a super rare attack and you're just like, oh, first card? Um, because whenever I open it... You slide through? No, I don't even slide through them. It's just those foils really, really stick out. Oh, do they? Yeah, like, whenever there's a berry, I don't normally know it, but a super, that silver corner, I mean, you can see it just looking down at it. Mm -hmm. All right, anyway. Shardhide Tusker, Swordhorn, Oozing Lavasaur, Thunder Reaper, Reef Scout, Piercing Judgment is their heir. Which I find to be okay. Eh, I don't know. Mesmerize, Sunspot Quartz, Rodigale, Night Guardian. I mean, in my opinion, it replaces Spark Cage. It doesn't allow you to draw. I don't really care. It does the tap down and it bounces something else back. So in or turn, if, if you got something big. If it's the only thing on board, you have to tap it and bounce it. You just bounce it. Say, screw the tap. Yeah, well, I, that, that's what I'm saying. You have to do it I know, what I'm saying is it ends with it going back to hand, and you do that Wait, same thing with Wait, does it say tap target enemy creature, or... Yeah. yeah enemy creature, okay. Yeah. Sword Horned, Oozing Lavasaur, Thunder Reaper, Reef Scout, Cave Gulper, Slumbering Titan is the rare. There's a Gazak of Shadow Garzak. Pass is this uh, berry. Sunspout Quartz and Aspire Zaylock. What is it? Uh, Galzak? Is it Galzak? Yeah. I think it is. The Slumbering Titan, I was disappointed to see that a civilization got something that directly 100% counters one of the main strategies of another civilization. But, nature's got Ooh. shafted the past few sets and they yeah. did need something good. They need something to come back. Tenuous Trove, Shardhide Tusker, Sword Horned, Oozing Lavasaur, Thunder Reaper, Grif Grip of Despair is the rare. Which Actually, I love. Here I thought Iron Vine was a super, it's just a very. Iron Vine Dragon is the uh, very rare. Chasm Blade Quartz and an Ember Eye. Which he got the same ability as uh, Flame Spike Tats. Um, yeah, stronger. only he's bigger. He's another And he costs bigger. more. He doesn't even have play. triple breaker. Oh, and there's double breaker? Well, um, Flame Spike Tats only has double breaker. I know. 
Deep Wood Druid, Memory Keeper, Shimmerwing, Tenuous Trove, Shard Hide Tusker, Zone Defense is the rare. Basically, a possible small storm spark. Rhodey Gale, Cyber Lord Corlisle, and an Ember Eye. It's a pseudo storm zone, spark. Yeah, zone defense. It's definitely a pseudo storm spark. And in this current, well, at least in the dragon. You know, build up meta, the field and then drop yes, it. Yes, like, you know, the, it makes. It gives you that, you know, kicker in the mirror where it's just. Nobody can attack. Yeah. It's who draws Storm Spark first. Now you've got more options. Fangtor, Red Scale Dracon, Deepwood Druid, Memory Keeper, Shimmerwing, Gregoria the Malevolent, which looks like it could be playable in Mono Dark and other, you know, kind of tempo y decks. Cinder Moss Quartz, Scaled Impaler, and a Mesmerize, last but not least. Definitely not least. Yes, down to the last pack. I think it's probably the best card they got printed in Darkness. Ah, uh, debatable. Very debatable. Over what? Over Gregorius Fortress. Depends upon what your strategy yeah. is in Mono Dark. Yeah. Well, I think it's definitely going to see the most play. I mean, there's different ways you can look at it. You can look at it at this card. You can look for straight destruction, or you can just look for discard and destruction. So last, last card. Sword Horn, Cyber Grid Bandit, Toxic Fog, Weaponized Razor Cat. Jump Jets, Sun Cloak Protector is the rare, King Poseidon is the very, sorry. <laughs> Wasn't even worth printing over there. Aqua Ranger Commander and Lars Virtuous Seer. Actually, I think King Poseidon isn't half bad. When one of your other creatures loses, return the winning creature. So basically, if they've got Infernus tapped, you could run something, you could run Cyber Spur, you know, yeah. something shitty into it. And uh, you know, get it off the board. Well, Does it target? The swing. Return the winning creature. You don't yeah. have to target with this. No. You can get rid of Emulator. Yeah, you just continuously bounce it. Yeah. But every time Emulator comes in, he pops off his AK ability. Yeah, true so. that. Well, it won't burn him. You just gotta have something out. It's like Anyways. I saw one dude veil vortex like three times in a row a uh, Infernus. I don't know why anybody would do like. The opposing player, or he was Veil Vortexing his own? No, uh, opposing player. All right. Just keep bouncing it because he had nothing on the field. There's our, our uh, super lineup, definitely favoring the darkness and water sieves. One Relentless, which probably isn't even going to be touched. It's just trade fodder. But overall, that is our box four. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in Ohio. I've got one more box that I'm going to be opening and uploading. Uh, until next time, you guys keep playing.